Do you want to know how to form Super Germany efficiently and quickly? Then stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Flying Dutchy and welcome to my Super Germany guide. I'm going to show you how you can form Super Germany very quickly. Um, and how you can form normal Germany, or somewhat normal Germany, very quickly. Um, if you want to form normal Germany, you would like to play as Prussia. But as Super Germany, Austria is the better option. It's easier, they are stronger, and you have to win the war against Prussia. So uh, what, you, what you also want to try to do is start the game and see if Russia and France are uh, happy with you. And if they like you, you can continue. So let's jump into the game and see if France and Russia are going to be happy with us. Alright, I had to restart the game two times before Russia became uh, genial at France and we want to keep them happy with us, so we will start improving with them at the start of the game. Um, you could also improve with Great Britain. Uh, they are cautious, so most likely they're not going to help you. Now, how to form Super Germany? You go to the culture step here, nation formation. And when you hover over Germany, you can see what is which states are counting for the German Empire. So some hung Hungarian, some Polish states as well, uh, one Slovene state. All the Czech states are in the German area. And also uh, Schleswig and Holstein over here. Um, now when you click on this, you can see what you need to do to form Germany. You need to have 19 state regions from that, uh, what I just showed you, the whole region. And you also need nationalism technology. So that is the first thing you want to uh, research, is nationalism. And when that is done, we have to do something else in this screen. So let's just first go to nationalism. That's over here. It takes three years as Austria to start to uh, research it. Now, for money-wise, we just raise the taxes. We do some uh, nice consumption taxes here. But I'm not very hurting. Liquor, for example. Uh, maybe wine. Luxury clothes. And I will do porcelain. And with the 200 points that I have left... I am going to bolster the armed forces because we want to get the cloud higher and we want to make them happy so that our armies are going to fight uh, a lot harder. Um, there's another thing you want to do at the start of the game. You only have uh, your Austrian aristocracy in the government. Uh, you could put in the, uh, the Catholic Church but it's not going to change anything really. Uh, but there is something you can do in the game to get some laws changed as the uh, uh, aristocracy. And that is this one over here. You can go to the lesser fair if you do a, the following things. You go to your t market, to your trade goods, and then you want to uh, encourage exports of grain. And that way, you're gonna get uh, the corn laws activated. And when the corn laws are activated, you can get an event that gives your Austrian aristocracy a market liberal, so you can get, go to the less affair very quickly. But that's what I'm gonna, gonna try to do. Now with the spare influence points, you want to improve relations with the bigger German miners. So Bavaria, Hanover, Mecklenburg, Saxony over here, Gutenberg, Baden, and then you are done. So I want to improve relations with everyone. And yeah, in the meantime, I will just uh, work on my economy. Going to uh, go to the best uh, production methods on most of our buildings. And you want to build up a bit of more of an army and a navy. Because you also want to invade Prussia with a naval invasion. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. And then I see you when something happens. Okay, it's the 1st of April. And we have the event that we want from the corn laws over here. A modern conservative. So because you have export on corn, you will get this thing and you can click on a new leader for our age. And that way we get a market liberal that is uh, Clemens von Metternich that uh, inter serves the interest of the Austrian aristocracy. I guess. No, 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 that's the old one. You just have to click this one and then you get a new one. So now we have Adolf Deppert and who... That's a market liberal and he likes less affair, he likes uh, free trade and he doesn't like serve them. And he likes uh, child labor. Ugh. But uh, this way, we can go to the laws and we can actually go to the lesser fair. And that's really good because we get more capitalist and shopkeeper investment pool contribution. The only downside is that we lose 25% private construction allocation. So uh, we are more reliant on private investments and we as the state cannot do that much anymore. 
So let's get this thing going. And in the meantime, I'll keep building up my uh, my industry, tooling workshops, barracks, naval bases, and uh, improve relations with France, Russia, Great Britain, and the uh, German miners. So I see you soon. What you should not forget, of course, is to put the um, market good policy to no priority again. Because otherwise you keep getting events from the corn laws. This will end the corn laws journal entry. And it also gives you a very nice boost to uh, people become loyal. So we get laborers and peasants that are lo uh, more loyal. We now have 3.6 million people loyal. So we get plus one approval for all our... Uh, interest group, so that's a really nice bonus to start the game with. There we go, we have the less affair right now, so we have uh, more investment, full money coming in. Um, and that's it really, just continue until I have my research, it takes uh, 27 more months apparently. Um, keep building up my shipyard, so I build more naval bases, so I can have at least 20 ships hopefully at the start of the game, so we can naval invade Prussia. And I will see you when I am done with nationalism. Alright, we are almost done researching nationalism. I have built up my navy a bit. They are slowly gaining more boats. And I am building more barracks right now. And in the meantime, I just uh, fixed my economy. Uh, make sure that you go to military wages to the maximum. Um, that will also make your armed forces happier. So they activate, hopefully, your patriotic fervor. So we get 15% offense and defense. Um, if that is not the case, you can go and put the military in your government. Uh, as you can see, we can do it over here. But I'm working on some healthcare. But you could do this one and then go for a dedicated police force. That will make the armed forces very happy. Then you should also get the bonus. Make sure that you have the bones. It's very important. Now, let's wait for the research to be done. There we go. So, when I have researched nationalism, you see over here that we have two unification candidates for this major German unification. Russia and Austria. So, let's go back to this tab over here. And you can see that um, we have no supporters right now and only Austria and Prussia are unification candidates. Um, before we want to form Germany, we have to make sure that we beat Prussia. And that we are only going to... We are only the... Uh, the only candidate left to, to form Germany. So what you want to do is launch a leadership play instantly. So that's what we are going to do right now. That way none of these counties can intervene. And we will just fight Prussia and hopefully we can call in Russia and France on our side. That's what doesn't cost any infamy. That is also a uh, big bonus. Uh, my Danubia commander needs to have a promotion. So let's have a look. That's this one. Heinrich von Hess promote you and we are going to put all our troops at the front over here now i don't think i have to mobilize my conscripts but that all depends on um if counties are going to join or not so i will put two units to the krakow front and the other ones are all going to uh, the south tyrol pomerania front now for the next technology i just click agriculture and now let's see who is going to join us and who is going to join Prussia. So we can sway Russia and uh, France at the moment and also the Netherlands. But we can only do that in the next um, the next phase. Now you see over here that people are going to support Prussia and Austria. And that is these flags over here. So for example Bavaria likes me as, as a unification candidate. So they are really supporting me. Uh, but uh, Saxon Meiningen, Nassau... Hohenzollern, Oldenburg, Luxembourg, they are all supporting Prussia. So you want to keep as many of these on your side. Because after this war you have to go to war again. And as many, if you have a lot of flags on your side, a lot of nations on your side, you have to fight less people to form Germany. So keep using your influence on all these miners while you are going to war with Prussia. Okay, we are at the phase where we can sway people in. Now, I would prefer France because they are super strong. I can give them an obligation and they will join me. So, let's do this. There we go. France is uh, helping us. Uh, Russia. Obligation. And we have Russia on our side. So, I am feeling very confident that we are going to win this war. And that... We can form Germany afterwards. 
Now, we don't want to take anything else from Prussia. The only thing that you want to take... Well, Bavaria actually just joined Prussia, so we have to uh, go and defend this front over here. Uh, just get some war operations. Uh, humiliate him. These are all good things to do. Uh, what you can do is liberate countries. For example, uh, Westphalia and Pomerania. We have only 30 points left. Let's just um, uh, liberate... Uh, Pomerania. Now you can do this, you don't have to do this, uh, but this way you make Prussia smaller, and the smaller Prussia is, the easier it will be to get him under your control. Now, on the other hand, if Pomerania is getting uh, liberated and they don't like you, then they will not join you when you form Germany. So but let's take the gamble and let's liberate Pomerania. Um, let's see, we have to put some troops over here against the Bavarians. The other fronts are looking okay right now. Uh, Prussia needs to put some troops to the this front, otherwise uh, the Russians are going to go in. Uh, put Berlin as your strategic uh, interest point so that the armies will go there. And I don't think we have to do any... Um, I'm also going to put you here. This, this is uh, only 16 now. Uh, we don't have to do naval invasion, I think. I think we will make it this way. Oh, and we are not building anything. Let me quickly uh, select the things I want to do. Oh yeah, I want to get me myself some uh, government buildings. Oh, not 10. 5. Because we have some taxation problems at the start of the game. So uh, we lose out of 34,000 taxes. And there we go. Russia and a couple of smaller nations against me, France and Russia for the German leadership. Now let's see how the first the battles are going to go. My armed forces are very happy. We have the bonus. And yeah, the Russians are already going in. So this war will be over very, very soon. As you can see. The Prussians are already occupied. The Prussians are actually advancing into France. That is uh, hilarious. They lost their whole uh, home country. Uh, but they are still going into France. <laughs> uh, let's see. East Galicia needs a bit more of this. Let's put these in the queue. Bavaria is out of the war. We just need to wait until this is at minus 100. And then we win. Mechanical tools. We'll take a look at that later. Cushion tab. And there we go. We are now the German leader to form Germany. We liberated Pomerania. Hopefully they will uh, become happy with me. We have no infamy at all right now. And since we are now the only one that can do uh, this war... Um, oh, we need to go out of the war with Baden first. Apparently we are still at war. Uh, let's do a white piece. Done. People are going to support us because they have no other option anymore. They can support me or no one. And what you can do now is launch a unification play. This way you can form Germany. You will have to fight all the countries that are not supporting you. Now, Prussia is not in this list because I guess we just beat them up. So, we can form Germany without getting Prussia. For 39 infamy. Um, are there countries that are going to join me? Before I trigger, Saxon Weimar should join me. Uh, maybe we can get Pomerania as well. Oh, I can't improve relations over there. Why can I not improve all relations? Oh, we have maximum relations, I guess. Yeah. But you want to get as many of these on your side because that is less infamy. Also these smaller ones. Let's see if some more people are going to join us. Yeah, Bremen and Schaumburg. Lippe is joining us. Swartzburg, Saxe Weimar. I think that were the nations I was looking for. Uh, yeah, Waldeck's not gonna join, you're not gonna join. Not gonna join. 
Okay, I think this is it, and now we only get 35 infamy, because we have to only fight these countries. So that's what we are going to do. Um, if you can get Prussia on your side, and Prussia will like you, then you can form Germany without going to war. That is the other option, so you can form Super Germany without going to war. But then you need all the flags on every... All, uh, uh, all your flags on all their flags. So Prussia needs to become happy with you. And then you have to end the rivalry and start improving relations. That takes a very and very long time. So that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, but we are just going to do a unification play right now. We have to fight all the German miners that are not supporting us. And what is the war leader? Oh, Pomerania. Really? The one I just released. The good thing is that we are going to get Pomerania. So let's put an army over there. And uh, let's put my other armies at the front close home. Over there. And I guess something over there. Now, let's see if um, people are going to join us or not. This will always happen, these messages. You can't uh, do anything about it. Let me click these things away. Sure. Okay, no one is helping anyone right now. And I can also not sway anyone anymore. Because I already gave obligations to France and to uh, Russia, so they cannot join me in this war. But at the moment, no one is going to help, so... I think we are okay. Uh, let me continue building the government buildings. We get a little bit more taxation capacity and more bureaucracy. What is this? No. We don't care about this thing here. Okay, no one is going to help Pomerania, so if we invade Pomerania, we win the war. They could even back down and then we just form Germany instantly. But I think they won't do it. No. But the only way to win now is to go and do a naval invasion into Pomerania. Need to wait for these messages to go away. Which takes a really long time, because all the German miners declared neutrality. I wish I could... Uh, Speed this up or whatever. There we go. Now we can do it. I'm going to launch a naval invasion with you, I guess. I want to take Pomerania down. They have five boats and four uh, battalions, so we should easily win this war. And then we can unify Germany, except for Prussia. So because we released Pomerania, we are also going to get Pomerania. What you could have done is released the uh, Westphalian. Uh, Westfalen as well um, then they would also become part of Germany uh, we have education put that on here sulfide pulping, can we do this? let's just put it on better universities and now we have silver shortage, so let's build more silver mines we should do that first Now, a lot of these counties are now poor. Uh, we don't have to improve with them anymore because we are going to annex them. So, let's uh, cancel all the improving relations and just keep improving with the big powers around us. Maybe the Ottomans as well. There we go. There's the naval invasion. And we should win this battle even with that low amount of... Uh, uh, naval support and offense stats. And when we invaded Pomerania, we are going to form Germany. It would be super easy to do. There we go. And now we can go to the culture tab, click at Germany, and then you can form Germany. The thing is, you form Germany without Prussia. And that's not what I like to do, really. So what I will do is try to puppet Prussia and then form Germany. 
because the only one that can still support me is Prussia. So you can do two things now. You can improve relations with them and make them happy. Or you're going to uh, you're gonna conquer the states or vassalize them. And I, then I would recommend vassalizing Prussia. Because if you have them vassalized, you can click form Germany. And you annex them for free. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, so don't forget to incorporate all the states. You want to incorporate everything. You want to tax the people. But we also have Luxembourg, as you can see. Schleswig-Holstein are going to us as well. And um, I will be back when we can go to war with Prussia. Alright, truce is almost over with Prussia. And in this run we are actually pretty lucky. Um, because we can vassalize Prussia. They are below 140 prestige. And every county that is a minor power... You can vassalize. You cannot vassalize them when they are a uh, major power. But a minor power we can vassalize. So the only thing we need to do is vassalize Prussia. And then we can click the button. Uh, the truce is over on the 3rd of February. Which is almost there. I have improved with everyone around me of course. And built up my economy. Going very well. And there we go. The humiliation is done. And the war operations are done. And now we can puppet... Uh, Prussia. Now I will do this, but you can see it is costing us 148 infamy. So there is a chance that um, a lot of countries are going to go against us. So I will make a save here and see what happens if I do this. So we will puppet Prussia. And I wonder if all the great powers are just going to go against us. Because then we cannot do this this way. Then you have to take uh, land first. Now, let's see what happens. Let's see if they are going to join. France and Russia are my rival. Ottoman, Sweden is siding with Prussia. Let's see if they are going to join. We can't go to that front. It's too far away. I can also not call anyone in. No. Embargo. Okay, it looks like that uh, Prussia is not getting get, getting any help, so that is our luck. Only Sweden is in the war. So we can put all our troops at the uh, front over here. So yeah, you should also make a save yourself. There is a chance you're not going to succeed this way. Uh, and you should just try to take uh, Brandenburg and Silesia in that war. And maybe release uh, Westfalen. That way you will break their prestige even more. And then after the truce, when you have done that, you can actually vassalize them without going over the infamy limit. Now we are over the infamy limit and let's see if we can form Germany before 1846. Super Germany that is. We need Brandenburg. Our forces are very happy. I got a dedicated police force. And we are winning. So this war should be over very soon. We puppet Prussia and we click the button. Oh, and apparently um, the AI can now do a cut down to size war against you when you are already in a play. So that is also new for me. Okay, I didn't know that. So after this war is done, we need to defend against France. Now luckily for us, we are going to get so much troops now. Uh, the Balkan one has died, I guess. Uh, let's do a defensive guy in from the Balkans and promote you. And put you at the front with France. I hope I can win this war before... The French are coming. I mean, I am winning everywhere. Uh, I can add Wargols. I can liberate Ossetania. I can liberate Corsica. And I can uh, I can conquer uh, Alsace-Lorraine, which is, of course, also German. So I will take that Wargol as well. Gonna screw uh, France over, if I can. Okay, Prussia is almost done. They are going down very quickly, as you can see. Minus 25, minus 41... Minus 59. And there we go. 
Russia is now our puppet. So when we go to the culture tab, you can see that all the 29 of the 19 states are controlled by me. Except for Alsace-Lorraine. And they are all uh, checkmarked here except for this one. You can now form Germany and annex Prussia instantly. And that is how you form Super Germany. There you go. Don't forget to incorporate the states. You always have to incorporate them. There we go. That also means that we have more troops. We have 39 in North Germany. Make a commander over there. And we have a Rhine. We need a Rhine commander. Let's upgrade these two. And let's put all our troops at the border with France and try to get Elsa's Lorraine from him. That would actually be really good. There we go. I don't think they have a chance to win. They should feel uh, horrible about this. Could even conquer more states, but let's just keep it uh, what is rightfully German. So we have Luxembourg as well. We took that from the Netherlands. We have... Uh, Slesvig from Denmark and Holstein as well. And now we are going after this thing over here. Why are they so strong apparently? No idea. I can try to improve relations again, but since you are so far over the infamy limit, I don't think you can. Let's see if we can win this battle over here. Oh, we have railways. Uh, I want the general staff now. I should be able to defend this pretty easily. Yes, I am. So when I have defended this, we will go on the counter-attack. Done. We will select all our armies. I wish I could select them uh, all at once and tell them to offense. Maybe I can, actually. No, I don't think I can. I think you have to click one by one. Now, they have a morale damage now. And if the AI is not paying their troops maximum, they will not recover as quickly as I do. I am, of course, paying my military. Let's see if we can win this battle over here. And the answer is yes. So we are going to get a ticking war score against the French. There we go. And that is the war goal as well. Now we just want to go to Paris now. And that should make them fall. We are attacking with way more than, than they are defending with. Because we have more troops at the border. That's actually not true. We have the max. We have the same amount of troops, so we are we were a bit lucky there, I guess. Yeah, attacking here is not giving anything at the moment. The French are now winning. Uh, what I can do is uh, activate some conscripts, to make sure that we are winning this war. Should be able to win this. Okay, we're not going to get the general staff, of course. Yes, we are winning again here. Uh, they're not going down in war score, so maybe I should do some sort of naval invasion. Uh, let's try it with these 20. See if we can reach their capital. At least I am defending very well against them. What about the attack? Yeah, attacking is not possible anymore, really. So we want to put everyone back to defense here. And just hold this line. Hopefully they are going to attack me. Uh, new technology. Let's do a military one. Now, I don't know if we can win this naval battle because they have way more boats. So no, it's also not possible. So yeah, you can choose yourself. You can f fight this war and try to get Alsace-Lorraine. I mean, you can just defend this and then I think you're going to win. They have no chance of winning against you. But you can also do a white piece with them.
That's also possible. And that way uh, you just uh, don't do this war. So I will be back if I get it or not. Let's see if uh, the AI is going to tick down in the war support. Alright, I am pushing through finally. Um, we are very close to the French capital. So we will get Alsace-Lorraine as well. For the cost of millions of lives, I guess. <laughs> I think when we have uh, Paris, we will uh, win this. Uh, they cannot keep up with my uh, with my troops anymore. We have 685 troops over here, and since we have incorporated all of this stuff over here, we are making so much more money. And I'm not I'm not uh, not uh, building any buildings, so that way uh, we have a lot of money to raise our conscripts and win. Uh, one big last battle over here. Oh, we are losing this one, unfortunately. That is a bit unfortunate. Yeah. We might have to stop again. Let's uh, try one more time. Now they are attacking me, but we are defending. We are doing very well. It's super easy. Now we're not getting any war score because we don't occupy Occitania Alsace, uh, or Corsica. So maybe when you go to War France, just go for the uh, Alsace Lorraine war goal and don't add any other war goals. That way you will get a ticking war score when you take Alsac, Alsace Lotharingen. Let's call it in the German way because it will be uh, German very soon. Now let's see if I can do one more attack after this battle here. Yeah, and we are winning. So we are very close to Paris. And I think when I get this that we are going to get a ticking war score against the French. Uh, let's get the field works. Almost there. We are at the border of France now. French are desperately attacking me. And there they go. They are at minus uh, 94, minus 100. We occupied Elsass-Lorraine, uh, which is actually part should be part of Germany because 63%, 64% of the people here are South German. We're going to incorporate it. Boom. And the war is over. And France is cut in two because we released uh, Occitania and also Corsica. And that way you are done for your uh, initial setup and you can start conquering the world. So guys, thanks for watching, make sure to like, subscribe, say something in the comment section, join the Discord, and I hope you enjoyed this guide. I also have a guide as Italy, it's in the same playlist, and I will also do a guide for Scandinavia very soon. And uh, yeah, then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.